my name is Amanda and welcome to today's video. Before I get started, I just want to say a massive sorry for not putting out the tutorial that I promised last Friday. The tutorial, the quilt and the blog post that was all supposed to be released on Friday got rescheduled right at the last minute so I do apologize for that. It's something that I don't have any control over and it's it's just the way that it is really. I mean, these things always just seem to happen to me. I don't know what it is. But that tutorial and the quilt and the blog post will be coming out very, very soon and I'm very excited to share what I have been up to over the last couple of weeks, which is why I've been a little bit quiet and a bit, I don't know, on the DL I guess. So I'm supposing from the title of this video you've guessed that I am doing an IKEA haul today. I don't know whether this is a good thing or a bad thing. But as far as I know, don't quote me on this fact, but the largest IKEA in the Southern Hemisphere has literally just opened around the corner for me, which is not good for me because I love IKEA. And I guess the good thing about it is I now don't have to travel like an hour to the IKEA store that I used to shop at. So today I just thought I'd show you a few of the things that I picked up because I love IKEA. It's one of my favorite stores. Just I don't know, for the hell of it, I guess. And they really do have some really great stuff at good prices. So I thought I would just show you the stuff that I got. So let's get into it. Yeah. So the majority of the things that I did buy, I actually did need. Uh, but there were a few things that I just bought because I thought they were nice. As you do. So I have my big oh, laugh bag here full of IKEA goodies, which I will now delve into and show you. Ugh. So the first thing that I got is one of the random things that I just bought for the hell of it. And that is these really cool straws. These are just like normal plastic type straws, but they're really like big, like in diameter. And I find that having big straws like this are really good to use when you're drinking smoothies. Like the really small sort of bendy straws, they're too sort of small to be able to suck up a thick sort of smoothie thing. So I saw these, they were only like $2 and I really like the colours in them and I thought they would be really cool to actually use for smoothies and for other cool type drinks now that the weather here is starting to slightly get warmer and yeah, I just thought they were pretty cool. Next thing up is a candle and it is this one. This thing is like so heavy, it's like a rock. This particular scent I think is like a vanilla cookie I think that's what it smells like but the name on it I just I don't know I'm super excited to get this candle burning because it smells so nice and I'm now going to put it down because it really is really quite heavy like you could knock someone out with this seriously they would have really bad issues I also picked up a packet of tea lights or tea candles whichever one you want to call them uh, this particular scent is vanilla as well but it has like vanilla ice cream on it and it does smell like vanilla ice cream which is really quite nice and the reason why I picked up these was because I saw this really adorable lantern it is so sweet and it's in my favorite color this is my favorite color well it matches my jumper <laughs> bit weird. As soon as I saw it I thought it was super sweet and just really really cute and the colour and just wow. So it's one of those little lanterns that you open with the little latch here oh. and then you put the oh get out the way tags jeez. You put your little tea light in here and then close it up and yeah it looks all pretty. Oh now I can't close it. Oh there okay good all good. So I thought that was really quite sweet. Yeah. Now I'm not too sure whether this is a new concept that IKEA has bought in, but they now have like this little paper shop section that has different sort of like wrapping papers and string and lots of all cool sort of stationary stuff. So as soon as I sort of saw that corner, I sort of went to it like a moth to a flame or something. And I did of course pick up a few cool stuff. The first one being these really cool scissors. Ah, oh, they're so awesome. I am such a sucker for cool looking scissors. I think being uh, a sewer or a quilter, I, I don't know, I'm sort of drawn to really cool haberdashery items and notions. So as soon as I saw these, I had to get them. Now I think they're only paper scissors, so I'm not going to be using these on fabric or anything like that. But I just, I think they're really cool. So as soon as I saw those, I picked them up. The next thing that I picked up was a packet of like 
present string this one's all in green and black they did have like a pink and white version but i like this one because of the black and the green stripey one it says that there's 20 meters on each roll which is pretty good i pretty much picked these up because i love to add new things to like my wrapping paper collection i have tons of strings and paper and sort of like bows and things like that to wrap up presents so i pretty much got this for that um and i'll also use this for like things for my etsy shop and stuff like that the next thing that I picked up were two packets of these party paper bags. I'm doing a market stall this coming weekend at my local church and I thought I'd grab some like bags to put the things that people are buying for me. Um, I don't know, just as a nice sort of thing, I don't know. There's 15 in each packet so I think I'll have plenty to be able to give away to people. I was really drawn to these because of the colour. This is the kind of colour that I have my business cards in and I just really like the grid pattern on it, I guess. And I was also just thinking of writing maybe thank you in the little box down here, but I'm not too sure yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. The next thing that I got was actually something that I have been needing for quite a while and I've sort of been shopping around and seeing what I can get for a good price and the thing that I'm talking about is a lampshade or a light shade for my light in my bedroom. Now as far as I know this one is one that sort of dangles down from the roof so it says that I need an electrician to do that so my uncle's an electrician so I might get him to put that in for me but I thought it was really really nice it's sort of like a um, a coated steel type thing and it has like this almost a doily type design along the bottom and the display one looked really really pretty like with the light shining through the holes so I saw it and I thought wow that's really pretty and I think it will look really good in my room so I picked it up now the last thing that I purchased from Ikea were these pink shelves that I have in the background here. I'm sort of coming to the point in my sewing room where I'm needing just a little bit more storage. Um, you know, a few extra shelves to sort of store things. So I thought the best place to do that is to put it on top of these uh, wooden drawers that I've got here that I also bought from Ikea years ago and it was sort of like lost wasted space on top of it so I got these shelves these shelves are originally ones to put like on a desk and I just found that the width of these shelves were perfect to put on the little wooden shelves and also as I was sort of constructing it I thought they would absolutely be perfect to use on my market day this Saturday to be able to put all of the stuff that I'm selling on top and to make it look all pretty and yeah so that's everything from my Ikea haul. If you'd like to know more about the things that I have shown you, all of the details and names of everything are down in the description box below. I wasn't going to attempt to pronounce any of them because I just wouldn't be able to. Now before I go, I just want to let you know that every single day in September, I am going to be writing and publishing a post on my blog. I'm calling it a blog a day or a post a day or something like that. It's just a little challenge that I've set myself to, I guess, put more time and effort into my blog and to sort of grow it and, uh, yeah, just to share things that are happening in my life I guess. September is a very, very busy month for me, there's lots and lots of things happening and I yeah, I just really want to share them with you and to just give you a chance to get to know me a little bit more than you do. So that's all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very soon. Bye! <laughs>